solve your first problem in the welded connections that problems related to the butt welded joint. Let me read the problem, two plates of thickness 14 mm and 12 mm are to be joined by a groove weld as shown in figure. The joint is subjected to a factored tensile force of 350 kilo Newton assuming an effective length of 150 mm. Check the safety of the joint for A first case single V groove weld joint then B second case is double V groove weld joint. Assume that Fe 410 grade steel plates are used and that the wells are soft welded. Okay. First I will draw the figure, oh sorry, figure is given here. So, they are connecting the two plates of one is 14 mm, other is of 12 mm thickness, two plates of different thickness which are connected by using a single V groove weld in the first case. So, welding is done on only on one side, okay. the first solve the first part, single V groove weld. In this case, single V groove weld the welding is done on only on one side, we can call this as a incomplete penetration of the groove weld because welding is done only on one side. Therefore, we can call this as a incomplete penetration. The effective length of the weld is directly given in the problem as 150 mm that is the LW is directly given. Then next we have to calculate the effective throat thickness T E. Effective throat thickness is equal to 5 by 8 times thickness. This is not given in the code, this is the general rule, you have to memorize this one. For incomplete penetration, you have to assume that uh, effective throat thickness as 5 by 8 times T minimum. T minimum is the minimum of the thickness of the two plates connected. Here the two plates joined are 14 and 12 mm. Let us use the 12 mm here, 5 by 8 of 12 is 7.5 mm. Next we will calculate the strength of the weld, strength of the weld equal to area of the weld into weld stress. So, the here area of the weld is length into throat thickness, length is directly given as 150 mm, throat thickness is worked out as 7.5 mm, then yield strength, which yield strength has to be used? Actually we have to use the least of the yield strength of the weld metal and the parent metal has to be used here. Here the strength of the weld metal that is the electrode strength is not given therefore, we will use the strength of the parent metal. So, Indian made steel is all the steels having a ultimate tensile strength of 410 yield strength of 250 that is why they are in the problem itself they have given as a Fe 410 grade steel Fe 410 grade steel plates. So, yield strength is 250. Then gamma MW is the partial safety factor for the weld. This value will be varied according to the fabrication place. If the fabrication is done at the shop means the value has to be used as 1.25. If it is done at the field means the value has to be used as 1.5. This value can be obtained from table 5 page number 13 IS 800 2007. If you calculate this value, you can get the value as 225 kilo Newton this uh, divided by 10 power 3 is to convert the Newton into kilo Newton. But the load given in the problem is factored tensile force of 350 kilo Newton, but this single V group weld will carry a load of up to 225 kilo Newton only. Therefore, hence the joint is not safe. The first part is over. Let us solve the second part of this problem. Second part of the problem is the welding is done on both the side that is why they have called them as a double V groove weld. Groove weld is also known as a butt weld. In this case welding is done on both the sides what will happen see the figure. It will cover full thickness of the member therefore, effective throat thickness is equal to thickness of the thinner plate. Here the thickness of the thinner plate is compared to 14 and 12 mm 12 will be the thickness of the thinner plate therefore, T E is equal to 12 mm length of the weld, the effective length of the weld is given as 150 mm. So, now we will calculate the strength of the weld, strength of the weld is area of the weld into stress in the weld. 
area of the weld is obtained by length of the weld into throat thickness length of the weld is directly given as a 150 mm throat thickness is 12 mm then yield strength of the parent metal is here used here 250 gamma mw is 1.25 because it is a sharp welded one divided by 10 power 3 to convert this value into kilo newton so the value worked out as 360 kilo newton it is greater than the load acting on this joint of 350 kilo newton therefore hence the joint is safe